the fish and chips, ice cream, roller coasters, and sea turtles. I've been sent on a little mission where I'm going to spend a day in the life of an aquarist and help give some marine life that little bit of extra help they need. But I'm very nervous because I'm pretty much scared of all animals. Dogs, fish, sharks, especially this one here. Ooh. But it's fine because you said you wanted to see an aquarium. So here we are. First up, the team here led by Katie are busy looking after Phoenix, who was rescued from a fishing net and brought to sea life in Blackpool. Okay, I'm a bit confused though because there's a brush here. This is actually one of our spa brushes and we Ooh. use it to brush the shell of our lovely green sea turtle, Phoenix. Hi, Phoenix. So if you brush her very gently over her shell, she loves it. In the wild, other fish might clean her shell for her and remove any algae. But wow. other than that, it's just a little bit of a spa treatment that we do to keep her looking beautiful. Hey, you lucky Phoenix. <laughs> so far, not too scary. Time to explore more of the aquarium. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Next, I'm helping with a breeding program aimed to increase the population of our rays and sharks. We're gonna be looking for eggs that have been laid at the bottom of this tank by our rays. Okay. Here are some waders, uh, and if you'd like to, we can uh, jump in. Well, I'm going in there. But I promise you've got nothing to worry about. Okay. You're quite deep in there. <laughs> Step up onto that and then over. <laughs> Ooh! So there's actually a shark under my foot. He won't bother you at all. Casey, look at all the fish in the water! <laughs> I wasn't joking when I said I was scared. So, the best place to look for eggs and things yep. like that is in and around the rocks because it's sheltered and because it's safe. Go in, get a few out. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. There you go. See? Ooh, that's an egg. Yeah. The eggs are the very first stage of the breeding program and they grow a protective case around the egg known as a mermaid's purse. How are these eggs? They don't look like eggs. So they're just like a little parcel, uh, and inside, that's where the baby sits. But once the baby leaves, they're empty, and they'll wash up on the beach. Oh, wow. How long are they actually in here for? For thornback rays, it's about four to six months inside the egg. So what's happening to the thornback rays, then? Why are they in trouble? And it's mainly due to things like trawler fishing. They like to sleep in big groups on the ocean floor. And as soon as something like a fishing net comes through, they can take away a whole group of them in one big swoop. So how does this breeding program actually help them? By breeding them here in the centre yes. and by monitoring things like eggs out on the beach. We can monitor which species are breeding, how often. We can also increase the population and make sure that they've got a great future no matter what. Ah! There you go. All he's doing is saying hello. Ah! He's dancing. He's just making friends with you. You've got nothing to worry about. OK, so we've got them in the bucket now. Where are we going to put them? We'll go and check through them, and if we do find any babies, then we'll put them into our incubation until they're ready to hatch. <laughs> what? Can I get out now? Yes, of course, if you'd like to. Freedom! <laughs> Time to find out if those mermaid purses contain any baby rays. So if you put your egg in front of the light mm -hmm. and move it around, if you can't see anything, a bit like that, there's nothing in there. But if you do see anything, maybe like a circle for the yolk or anything mm -hmm. wiggling in there, that's a baby and we'll <gasps> put them into incubation. I see a wiggler. Yeah, pop it onto this little area here. We'll just leave them in there until they're ready to hatch. Being able to safely deliver and care for baby rays and sharks is more important than ever, especially when they're under threat. When they do hatch, they'll be cared for before the team release them back into the larger tank and then hopefully into the wild. It's a massive privilege and responsibility, so we need to give them the best care possible. And you know what? I think we've done just that. So fingers crossed. Stay safe, little baby rays. We love you. <laughs> hey, it's Lindsay here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and if you want to watch brand new BP, head to BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.